Hi, it's Rabbi Eisenberg, and welcome to this week's Torah. In this week's Sedra, we read about the Jewish people finally moving away from their encampment next to Hasinai and starting to make their way towards Eretz Yisrael. And the Medrash tells us something interesting. It says that the way the Jews moved away from Hasinai, when the Jewish people left Mount Sinai, they were like, Tinok haboreach mi sefer. They were like little children. If anybody's ever been to school and watched the last five minutes as the class has this anticipation to leave, everyone's looking towards the door, everyone looking at the watches, and finally that bell goes, and the kids go rushing out, and there's a rush for the door and a rush to the cars and to the rotas and to get home. And it was like that. The Jewish people couldn't wait to get away from Mount Sinai. And there's a negative connotation to it. There's a negative feeling over here that the Jewish people couldn't wait to get away. And it's an interesting thing because the Jewish people on the one hand, they were going to the land of Israel and that was considered something very positive. Why shouldn't they be excited about leaving? But on the other hand, there still has to be a heavy heart. And that's why there's this negativity over here. Many a time there are positive things that we can do and sometimes we just can't help. There are times where people ask us to help them out with money and we just won't be able to help them. There are times where people need our time and we won't be able to give them that time. We just won't be able to be there for them. But when you say no to somebody or when you move on from something positive, the question always has to be, how does it look like when you move on? What do you look like when you move on? Are you just moving on? in a very excited way? Are you happy? I can't help the fellow, but you know what? I don't like him anyway. I'm glad I don't have any money to be able to help him. Or even if I do like the fellow, but you know what? I'm happy. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I didn't give him any money. Would you feel bad? I couldn't help another Jew. Maybe I'd like to help him. I couldn't help another human being. Maybe I could have been able to help that person. You should at least feel a tinge of sadness inside yourself, and you don't. When you can't help others, when you cannot do a mitzvah, when you cannot help out, whatever it might be, you should feel inside yourself, I wish I could, but I can't. Don't go rushing away. Don't show that inner excitement that, yes, I'm glad I'm not able to do that. That's what we're talking about over here. So yes, the Jewish people were going to a good place and they had the right mindset they wanted to go to Israel. But there should have been a tinge of sadness. You don't have to look at the door and wait for the bell to go to rush away from Hasinai. Maybe go that little bit slower. And next time, when you can't do something right, when you can't help somebody, at least feel that inside yourself. I cannot help them, but I would have liked to have been there for them. All the difference is in that little feeling. The excitement changes everything. If you're excited to be able to help someone else, that's one thing. If you're excited to be able to get away from the opportunity, then there's something wrong, and that needs fixing. Have a very good Shabbos.